A geyser needs three things in order to work. One is large amounts of water, which is normally groundwater located about 10 to 20 feet just below the surface. Another thing that a geyser needs is a heat source. This is not magma, deep within the earth like you might think, but instead it's superheated water being forced through cracks within the earth that was originally heated by either magma or another heat source. The last thing that you need for a geyser is a very pressure tight sealed system. Uh, that is the geyser. This is pressure tight due to a mineral called center that develops on the walls due to convection currents um, dropping off the minerals on the walls. Now the geyser begins uh, with a completely empty system. The fissures begin to blow their steam into the system but immediately at the lower um, atmospheric pressure that these fissures are blowing into inside the geyser then immediately flashes to steam so nothing really happens. Then the groundwater will begin to fill the system up with water. Now once the whole system is completely filled, it is completely pressurized and so there is absolutely no boiling going on in the system. The fissures will begin to heat it up and will start to cause it to simmer inside of the geyser. Now eventually the temperatures will become so hot that a little bit of steam bubbles will be forced up through the constriction causing a little mini eruption which will lower the pressure inside the chamber. When this happens the water in the chamber flashes to steam and begins to lift the water up above the constriction up and out of the system starting an eruption. Now, eruption will continue going until it either runs out of heat, in which it will simply stop, or if it runs out of water, which it will then go into a steam phase. Now once the eruption is done, it should be either completely out of water or almost completely out of water. And so it will begin to fill back up and reheat, preparing for the next eruption.